Okay, class, can everybody please get out your whiteboard and a dry erase marker? You do not need your math books out for right now, but keep it near. But for right now, please just get out a whiteboard and a dry erase marker, please. And once you get your dry erase marker and whiteboard out, I want you to look at this question and we'll, we'll read it over together. So what we're gonna do right now is write an equation you could use to solve this problem. So use T for the unknown number. <clears throat> so here is um, the problem right here we're looking at on the bottom, okay? So John wants to collect 24 trading cards. He already has 15 cards. How many more cards does he need? So all you're doing right now is going to write an equation to show for this problem. And we're gonna use T for the unknown number. So everybody uh, on your whiteboards or on your desk as well, um, write an equation with this information given. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to do that. So all you're doing is writing the equation. You guys are not solving. So just write an equation for now. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to do that with this information given. So John wants to collect 24 trading cards. He has 15 cards. How many more cards does he need? Write that in an equation, please. And then something you can do, because I know the letter T really looks like a plus sign, so in order to help you um, identify T so it doesn't look like a plus sign, is make a little tail on the bottom, okay? So whenever you make your, um, your T for the unknown number, make a little tail on the bottom so it doesn't look like a plus sign. <clears throat> so make a little tail, you know, so we can identify that it's not an addition um, symbol. Good job, good job. Everybody's doing good, making some equations. I'll give you about another 30 seconds to wrap it up. So class, let me ask you this question. Is there more than one way that we could write this information in an equation? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there's more than one way that we could write this uh, question in an equation. And um, just to clarify, exactly how many ways can we uh, create an equation out of this, um, this information? Leah? Three times four and Okay, perfect, yep. Ethan? 24 minus 15 equals 
Oh, I wasn't asking exactly what it was yet. I was just asking uh, how many ways you can make this into an equation, but we'll get to that right there. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> so let's go ahead and um, and let's and let's and let's um, let's talk about this now. So with this information given, we wanted to write an equation that we could use to solve this problem, and we're going to use the letter T for the unknown number. So John wants to collect 24 trading cards, and he has. 15 cards already. So how many more cards does he need? So, um, for example, um, uh, Ethan, what, what did you just say? Uh, what, what equation did you use to, um, or what, what did, how did you write this in an equation? Okay, yes. So what Ethan has is 24 minus 15 equals T. So, yeah, I'm going to write this right here, his equation, so 24 minus 15 equals t. So Ethan, can you explain why did you um, make an equation like this? How, how, how would it make sense to you? Well, if you Yes, exactly. Perfect. So we know that he wants to get 24. So that's the number that he wants to get. So we already have 15. So how Ethan did it is he did subtraction. He's like, okay, so this is the number I'm trying to get. I already have this amount. So if I subtract this amount, then I'll figure out the remaining number that I need to get a total of 24. Excellent, Ethan. Um, Leah, how did you do it? Um, I did Great, that's another good one. So we also have 15 plus T equals 24. So Leah, explain, how did how does this equation uh, help you solve the problem? Because I have 15, I can count up how many more there is to get to my answer, and then I'll figure out how many the T is. Perfect, uh, very well said. So Leah says that we already have 15 cards. So if she just counts up to 24, then we'll figure out the missing number that we need to get our total number of 24 trading cards that we want. Excellent. Yes, Dane? T plus 15 equals 24? Yeah, okay, so it's the same thing, we just flipped it around. So T plus 15 equals 24. <clears throat> So it's basically the same thing that Leah said, but we just flipped our, um, our numbers right here. Good job, Dane. <clears throat> yes, Ethan, you want to add? Well, I was going to say the equation. Yeah, go for it. Um, it's okay. Um, Trent. Um, so I did 24 divided by 15 equals T and 24 divided by T equals 15. Okay, so you did 24 divided by 15 equals T? Yep. Okay. So 24 divided by 15 equals T. <clears throat> so let's think about this. What we're trying to do here is we want to figure out how many more cards does he need? So does division, um, so would, would, would doing this division problem get us our answer T? Uh, no, Leah, why do you say no? I say no because division is like putting things in division and you're not trying to put things in division first, you're trying to find out how many cards he needs. Exactly, so what, what you were doing right here, Trent, is this is if you were trying to make it into groups. So this equation actually would not work, okay? So the only way that we could use this is either doing addition or subtraction. Those are the only operations that we would use um, to get our answer. Yes, Leah, you want to add? I have another equation. Go for it. What is it? 24 minus t equals 15. 24 minus t equals 15. Mm -hmm. That works. <coughs> so we have our total number, and then we can minus the unknown number to get 15. So we gotta figure out what this number is. And um, we already have our total number of 15. 
Excellent. You guys did wonderful right there. So now let's get out our um, our math books, please. And let's turn to page 397. right there on the side and uh, we're gonna go into a different problem first okay so first let's make sense of the problem okay so just leave your books uh, right there actually close your books please I don't want you guys to uh, look at the, the numbers in the book room. so just uh, leave your books on the side I'm sorry I told you guys to get them out a little bit too early okay so first, let's make sense of the problem. So, we are going to make sense of this problem together first before we actually open up our book um, together. So, the question says, third graders at Brown Elementary School are raising money for the school library. The goal is to raise um, a certain amount of money and they raise a certain amount of money each day for a certain amount of days in a row. So how much more money, M, is needed to reach the goal? So the M is gonna be like in the last problem we just did, the unknown number that we're trying to solve. <clears throat> so to solve this problem, we're gonna write an equation for each step. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, forget about this right now, the, uh, this bottom part. We're just going to leave that part out right now, and right now what we're going to try to do is just make sense of the problem, and we're going to solve this problem by writing an equation. <clears throat> so, what do we know about this problem so far? So, what is this uh, problem telling us so far? Dane? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah. So this problem, uh, third graders are trying to raise money for a school library. <clears throat> what else do we know? Ethan? Yes, yeah, so the goal is to raise, they have a goal, they have a set number that they're trying to raise. What else, Leah? Yes, exactly. So they raise a certain amount of money each day for a certain amount of days in a row. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. So now, we are going to look at these numbers first before we go into, um, into the actual question in the book. <clears throat> so now with these numbers, let's try to make sense of this and try to make it into an equation. So just like we did in the last question, <clears throat> so in the, um, in the, um, and in, in, in the previous question that we just did, we knew that we could have a, um, an equation that is 24 minus 15 equals t. So let's try to keep that in mind. And then now let's look at, um, at this question. So we know that the goal is to raise $10. So they raise $2 each day for three days. <clears throat> so how would we write that into an equation? It's going to be something similar to this, but it's not exactly the same. It's going to be different. But this is what an equation looks like. So I'm going to have you guys keep this up just, um, um, just to have for a reference. <clears throat> so go ahead and write that out on your, in your whiteboards right now. I want you to, um, to think about it and think, how would we write this into an equation? Okay, so third graders at Brown Elementary School are raising money for the school library. So the goal, they want to raise $10. They raise $2 each day for three days in a row. So how much more money is needed for them to reach the goal? So how would we write this in an equation? I want you to work on that for a few minutes 
and then we'll um, come together and talk about it as a class. Yes, you guys are going to use M for the unknown number. Excellent question, Leah. <coughs> So class, what is the first step that we should do to help us write an equation? Elva, what is the first step? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made sense of the problem. But with these numbers here, in order to make an equation out of it, what is the first step that we should do to make an equation? Yes, Ethan? Yes, but what are we gonna do with those two numbers? So I see, so explain what you're doing right here. So what is the first step, what, what would you do? So, so then what would be the, the first step that we want to do to solve this problem? So you have the good equation right there. So what's the first thing that we do? Mm -hmm, exactly. So multiplication would be the first step to help us write the equation. Yes, Ben, you want to add something? Um, well, uh, I just wanted to do the first step. What happened? Uh, I just wanted to do the first step. Oh, you want to do the first step? Yeah. Okay. I did. So what would be the first step? Um, the two times three, and then that would be six. Mm -hmm. And then that thing would be two. And then I want, uh, and then I want six plus unknown is two. Exactly. So what Ethan and Ben told us is that Step one, we need to multiply. So step one, in order to write an equation for this problem, we need to multiply. So what numbers are we going to multiply here in, um, in, this, in this problem? Dane? Two times three. Why are we going to multiply two times three? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So we know that we're going to multiply two times three. Let's put the money sign right here because we're dealing with money. So what do we get when we multiply two times three? Leah? Six. Six dollars. Mm -hmm. So now with this information, now we can um, write an equation. So well, I mean, we wrote the uh, first step to the equation now, what would be the second step? What would be step two? Leah? We use addition. Mm -hmm. We're going to use addition. So how would that look like? Well, what I did is six plus three is eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So, step two is 
we already multiplied our first number and we figured out that it's six dollars. That's how much money that they raised. So they raised six dollars. So, and then Leah said that the six dollars plus M, because that's the number that we're looking for, will equal the goal number that we're looking for, which is ten dollars. So now that you have this equation, I want you to solve the equation and find the missing um, amount of M, okay? So go ahead and try to figure that out. I'll give you about uh, two minutes to figure that out, and then we'll come together to, um, to explain how we solve this problem. So we have step one and step two of how we made this into an equation, okay? So now we want to try to solve this equation. So where, where is the M? What did you solve for M? What number, what number do you need? So 6 plus 6, what does that equal? Does that equal our real number? Okay, so now let's solve this equation. So this was step one in creating the equation. The first step from this information that we had, we knew that we had to multiply $2 in three days. And when we multiplied the $2 with the three days, they made a total of $6. So the school had already raised $6. So they're short of their goal for 10. So we had to figure out they have $6, how much more dollars do they need to get their goal number of $10? So, Trent, what did you do to solve this equation? Well, I did that, um, 10 minus 6 equals 4, that's what I did. Okay, excellent. You could have did that, 10 minus, uh, 10 minus 6, and you got 4. Leah, how did you do it? Um, I knew that 6 plus 3 equals 9, so 9 plus 1 equals 10. So, 6 plus 4 equals 9. Exactly. So we know that M equals four. Ethan? Okay, good job, Ethan. Uh, ben, you wanna add something? Um, wait, can I do that here? Yeah, tell us what you did. So I did, well, I realized, well, I didn't actually realize this first. I accidentally did six times three is six plus four. And So we knew that M equals four 
dollars. So we have this problem. The third graders at Brown Elementary School are raising money for the school library. The goal money they wanted was $10. And they raised $2 each day for three days in a row. So we were trying to figure out how much more money do they need to reach their goal. And we wrote an equation. We knew that the first step is we have to multiply two times three to figure out how much money they already have. So when we multiply two times three, we got six dollars and we figured out that's how much money they already have. And then we went to step two where they already have six dollars and they have to add the unknown number to get the total number of 10. So we figured out that six plus four equals 10. <clears throat> Good job everybody. So now can everybody please open up their books to page 397. What happened, Ben? Um, yes, this problem is on page 397. So now, class, so now, class, we are going to solve the same exact problem, but with different numbers. Okay, so remember the steps that you took. Okay, I'll leave this information up right here for you. So remember the steps that you took. Okay, it's the same exact question, just with different numbers. Okay, so I want you guys to write the equation with the new numbers and then try to solve the equation with the new numbers. Okay, so we're doing the same exact thing, but with new numbers, okay? So work on that for a few minutes. So use everything that we just learned in the first question, okay? You guys see that this is the same problem with just different numbers. So you guys already have the equation made out for you. So you guys just have to plug in the different numbers and try to solve it. And then don't forget that you guys have your resources. Um, I know that nine times eight is a big number. You guys have your uh, multiplication table in your composition books. You guys could use um, your multiplication table to help you with uh, the multiplication right here in this problem. So don't forget your resources, okay? Or you can use square tiles, your counters. So first step that we're doing is we're gonna make an equation with these new numbers, okay? So now, instead of the goal being $10 to raise, now they want to raise $250, okay? So instead of 10, now it's $250. And then they raise $9 each day instead of $2 before. And then each day for a total of eight days, instead of the three days before. So we wanna change our numbers to create a new equation. Okay, so I'll give you a few more minutes to create a new equation. And once you have already created the new equation, go ahead and try to solve it. So you guys have the steps right here if you guys are confused, okay? It's just new numbers now in this one.
Class, if you have already written the equation, you can solve it as well, okay? So if you wrote the equation out, try to solve it. What is the first step that we did for the previous question? Look on the board. What's the first step? So what numbers are we going to multiply? With the new numbers. What are the two numbers we should multiply? Okay, class, now let's talk about this new problem. So, how would we make this into an equation? So, what is step one now for the new equation? Leah. Well, I Very good job. <clears throat> so what Leah said is that for step one, that she multiplied nine times eight, okay? So, and whichever she multiplied nine times eight, she got 72, okay? So here, let me, all I'm going to do now is just take out the old numbers and plug in the new numbers, okay? So. So now with the new numbers, 
we're going to multiply 9 times 8. So now we're going to plug in 9 times 8. That is step 1, is to multiply. And then when we multiply 9 times 8, we get 72. <clears throat> so now we have figured out step 1. We have to multiply 9 times 8 to figure out how much money we already have. So the school has already raised $72 because they raised $9 each day for a total of eight days. So we multiplied those numbers to get our total number of $72. So now we have a total of $72. So now what is step two? What is step two into solving this problem? Dane? Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So for step two, what Dane said for step two is that he knows that the goal number that we want to reach is $250. So we have $250. And then Dane said, if I subtract the number that we already have of $72, so $250 minus $72, that will give me the, the, the amount of money I need to, um, to get to our goal of $250. So for step one, we multiply nine times eight and that gave us 72. And then for step two, Dane told us that, okay, I have 250, that's my total. So in order to find how much more I need to get to that, I'm gonna minus how much I already have to figure out how much more I need to get to 250. <clears throat> so now that you guys know that, I want you to double check all your work and then uh, and try to solve it now with all the new information you have. So double check your work and see if that you guys are on the right track and then we'll come together in a few minutes to um, reveal our answer. So now you guys have the equation. Now we're trying to solve for M. What are we doing, Austin? So are we sure that 72 is M? Because look, right there on step two, we have $250 minus 72 will give us M. So how is 72 M? So look, we have the equation right there. So now I want you to try to solve it. So what you're doing is subtraction. You know how to do subtraction. So subtract those numbers up there, okay?
Okay, class. So now let's. Um, I want you to now. Um, now we're we're going to share our strategies together of what we did to find uh, find M. So now I want to ask you, what do we get when we solve for M? So we know that step one is to multiply nine times eight. And then we got $72. That is how much money we already have. And then for step two is to subtract $250 from our $72 to get our M. So what do we get when we subtract $250 minus 72? Dane, what did you get to solve when you solved for M? Okay. So Dane got $178. Uh, ben, what did you get? Um, I got 130. Oh, you got the same thing? Okay, excellent. Uh, Trent, what did you get when you solved for M? Did you get this or a different number? Um, I got a different number. I got 180. Okay, so Trent got... Uh -oh. Okay. So Trent got 188. Okay, Ethan, what did you get? 178. You got 178 as well? Okay. Uh, Emily, what did you get? You got 170 or 178? 170. Okay, 170. Okay. Anybody else get a different answer from any of these three? Okay. So what we can do to check our answer is we can do addition. So, oh, yes, Leah? You got 142? Okay. So Leah got 142. Armand, what did you get? I got 188. 188 as well? Okay. So now what we can do to, um, to figure out what the, what the answer is, is we can do addition. So another way that we can use this to solve M is we can count up. So we can do $72 plus M equals 250. <clears throat> so we can do this to check our answer. So we want to figure out 72 plus what can give us 250. <clears throat> so I want you guys to try to solve this right now and then let me know what you get and see which one of these answers it, uh, it is, okay? So go ahead and do 72 plus one of these numbers and check which one equals up to 250, okay? So the answer right here is one of these numbers. So I want you guys to check which one of these numbers will, uh, will equal up to um, equal up to 250. Okay. So work on that for a minute. Now, I gave you guys some time to add 72 with one of these numbers to figure out which one is M. So, did anybody change their answers, or is everybody still sticking with what they said? Okay, so 250 minus 72 equals one of these numbers, and then 72 plus one of these numbers equals 250. 
So the correct answer that it would be is 175. Okay? I mean 178. Yes, correct. So we know that M equals 178. So let's look at some ways that we could have solved this. So this is one way that we could have solved this problem. You could have made a diagram. So in this diagram, we know that our goal number is 250. And we know that we have 9 times 8. So you could have added all these numbers together, or you could have did 9 times 8. And then that would help us find our missing number. So we know that we have 250 right here, and then we have our, our, our 9 times 8 right here to help us find M. So that is one way that we could have um, solved this problem. <clears throat> Another way is right here, we can use this diagram. So by using the diagram, we figured out that the students raised $9 each day for eight days. So we figured out that they raised eight times $9. So they need a total of $250, and they need to raise M more dollars. So we know that the blue number right there, eight times nine, is the amount they already had raised. Plus the M, the number that we're looking for, should equal 250. So this is the equation that we have brought out right here. Eight times nine plus M equals 250. Okay, so that was an equation that we could have used to solve this problem. And then these are, um, this is basically step one and step two of, uh, of the equation. So we know that step one, we have the multiply, eight times nine plus the M equals 250. And we figured out that that gave us 72. So we did 72 plus M equal 250. Or we could have did subtraction. We could have did 250 minus 72 to get our M. So for question number one, so what was the first operation we should have done? Leah? Yeah, so we know that the first operation we should have done is multiplication. <clears throat> okay, so this is on page 399. So if you guys want to go to page 399, then we could go over this page together. Yeah, so, so we knew that the first step was multiplication, and then our second step we knew was to subtract. So our second step was right here to subtract. So that would go into right here for step number two. And then it, it tells you basically how to do the problem right here on this page. That's why on question number three it says, why could we subtract 72 from 250 to find M? Okay? And then on question number four it says, what does what is M? And we figured out that M is 178. And what does it stand for? So we know that M stands for the missing number. So we already went over all this information. So you guys can plug it into your, your book. And yeah, so, so that will conclude our lesson for today. Um, now we're going to get ready to go for our mass break. So good job, everybody. You guys did wonderful.